My name is Naveed Shivani and I'm President and CEO of Open Silicon. Today I would like to talk to you about a brand new trend that is happening in our industry which is known as derivatives and design light. In order to start uh, to give you a background of that particular trend, I need to take you back some 30 years. So let's go, go back to 1980s. What kind of semiconductor companies existed at that time? At that time, most of the companies have the fab, the package, the test, the IP, EDA tools, everything was in-house. The first crack in this whole system started showing up in around 1980s when the companies realized that it is not possible for them to have the very complex EDA development in-house and that led to the birth of EDA-like company. Now, the term was not invented back then, but that's exactly what we have. So, somewhere in here, we had EDA light companies around 1980. It took about another seven to eight years before the trend took uh, full hold, and it led to a great companies like Cadence, Nopsis, Mentor, and eventually the birth of Magma as well. Five to seven years after that, the company started realizing that in addition to EDA, there are some other things that they can do outside the company and that led to a new trend known as IP light. So what is that IP light trend? IP light trend basically stated is that it's not necessary to develop the entire IP of the company inside the company. It's possible to outsource a piece of it. More importantly, it is possible to build chips getting some IP from IP companies that led to the rise of great companies like Artisan, Arm and others which were able to supply the IP and hence much, much of the commodity IP does not have to be developed inside the companies. It took another five years before another aspect of semiconductor business came under examination. Is it necessary to have even fabs in-house? And that led to a new concept called FabLight. The idea of FabLight is that you don't have to amortize and all the capital expenses. It's possible to outsource most of your chip fabrication to uh, foundries which are specialized in that and hence they have the capital structure to take care of it. And hence around year 2000, concept of FabLight started which has, in my belief, taken a firm hold. Today, after all these three phases, our industry stands on yet another important trend. We call that trend design light. So what is design light? Design light is a trend in which a company decides to outsource a complete design, not just a piece of it, which has been going on for a long time, but a complete design from start to end to an outside company thereby expanding their R&D capability, their uh, TAM, their, uh, their multiple revenue streams and in, in many cases accelerate the, uh, the time to market of their products. So what kind of chips can be outsourced in this fashion? Are these the main chips? No, we don't think so. These are the chips which we call derivatives. What are derivatives? Derivatives are chips which because of a customer need, because of a niche market, because of time to market or because of some original main chip was over designed are offshoots of main designs that companies have already done but now to address new markets, new customers they would like to skinny down their chips, modify their chips without make, making major functional changes, without making major architectural changes. Such designs can expand as I said earlier the time of your company can expand the time to, uh, can accelerate the time to market can reduce the cost of development inside the company this concept as i said earlier are called derivatives and many many companies are now using concept of derivatives and the concept of design light to increase the revenue and profitability of their companies 